Good afternoon. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm Brother Bill and I'm so glad you could join me. This is evening prayer for Sunday, November the 13th. It's week 6 in the Psalm cycle and the scriptures for this service. Psalms 19 and 46. Luke chapter 16 verse 1 through 13. And 1 Chronicles chapter 29 verse 10 through 13. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit. As in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. The heavens proclaim the glory of God, and the firmament shows forth the work of God's hands. Alleluia. Psalms 19 and 46. The heavens proclaim the glory of God, and the firmament shows forth the work of God's hands. Day unto day takes up the story, and night unto night makes known the message. No speech, no word, nor voice is heard, yet their span extends through all the earth, their words to the utmost bounds of the world. There God has placed a tent for the sun. It comes forth like a bridegroom coming from his tent, rejoices like a champion to run its course. At the end of the day, the sky is the rising of the sun. To the furthest end of the sky is its course. There is nothing concealed from its heat. The law of the Most High is perfect. It revives the soul. The rule of the Most High is to be trusted. It gives wisdom to the simple. The precepts of the Most High are right. They gladden the heart. The commands of the Most High are clear. They give light to the eyes. The fear of the Most High is holy, abiding forever. The decrees of the Most High are truth. All of them are just. They are more to be desired than gold, than the purest of gold, and sweeter are they than honey, than honey from the comb. So in them your servant finds instruction. Great reward is in their keeping. But can we discern all our errors? From hidden faults acquit us. From the presumption, from, from, from presumption restrain your servant, and let it not rule me. Then shall I be blameless and clean from grave sin. May the spoken words of my mouth, the thoughts of my heart, win favor in your sight, O oh my God, my rescuer and my rock. God is for us a refuge in strength, a helper close at hand, in time of distress. So we shall not fear, though the earth should rock, though the mountains fall into the depths of the sea, even though its waters rage and foam, even though the mountains be shaken by its waves. Our God of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob, Leah, and Rachel is our stronghold. The waters of a river give joy to God's city, the holy place where the Most High dwells, God is within, it cannot be shaken. God will help it at the dawning of the day. Nations are in tumult, kingdoms are shaken. God's fourth voice roars forth, and the earth shrinks away. Our God of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob, Leah, and Rachel are our stronghold. Come, consider the works of the Most High, the redoubtable deeds that God has done on the earth putting an end to wars across the earth, breaking the bow and snapping the smear, burning the shields with fire. Be still and know that I am God, supreme among the nations, supreme on the earth. Our God of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob, Leah, and Rachel is our stronghold. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. The heavens proclaim the glory of God, and the firmament shows forth the work of God's hands. Alleluia. The lesson is from the Holy Gospel according to Luke, chapter 16, verse, beginning at verse 1. And then Jesus said to the disciples, There was a rich man who had a manager, and charges were brought to him that this man was squandering his property. And so he summoned him and said to him, What is this I hear about you? 
give me an account of your management, because you cannot be my manager any longer. And the manager said to, the, said to himself, what will I do now that my master is taking the position away from me? I am not strong enough to dig, and I am ashamed to beg. I have decided what to do so that when I am dismissed as manager, people may welcome me into their homes. So summoning his master's debtors one by one, he asked the first, How much do you owe my master? And he answered, A hundred jugs of olive oil. And he said, Take your bill, sit down quickly, and make it fifty. And then he asked another, How much do you owe? He replied, A hundred containers of wheat. And he said to him, Take your bill and make it eighty. And his master commended the dishonest manager, because he had acted shrewdly. For the children of this age are more shrewd in dealing with their own generation than are the children of the light. And I tell you, make friends for yourselves by means of dishonest wealth, so that when it is gone, they may welcome you into the eternal homes. Whoever is faithful in a very little is faithful also in much, and whoever is dishonest in very little is dishonest also in much. If then you have not been faithful with the dishonest wealth, who will entrust to you the true riches? And if you have not been faithful with what belongs to another, who will give you what is your own? No slave can serve two masters, for a slave will either hate the one and love the other, or be devoted to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and wealth. Here ends the lesson. Now let us offer our prayers and petitions. Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness, and let your people sing with joy. Give, your, give peace, O God, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation in your care, and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon the earth, and your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O God, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God. Sustain us by your Holy Spirit, and for all of your intentions. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Alleluia, blessed are you, God Most High, the God of our ancestor Israel, forever and ever. Amen. Alleluia. A canticle from the first letter, or first book of Chronicles. Blessed are you, O God Most High, the God of our ancestor Israel, forever and ever. Yours the greatness, the power. Yours the glory, the victory, and the majesty. For all that is in the heavens and on the earth is yours. Yours is the kingdom, and you are exalted as head above all. Riches and honor come from you, and you rule over all. In your hand are power and might, and it is in your hand to make great and to give strength to all. And now we give you thanks and praise your glorious name. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word, and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia! Blessed are you, God Most High, the God of our ancestor Israel, forever and ever. Alleluia! Bless Yahweh, my soul, and may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia! <laughs>